My brilliant research assistant, John Lim, has done it again. He made this old buggy tool. Well, he converted this old buggy tool that I made uh, for validity tests into a plugin that just works. It's amazing. And it also gives advice and interpretation. It's pretty cool. Um, so we used to use this stats tools package validity master tab uh, to do a validity test, but it had all these caveats and assumptions and, and it wouldn't work half the time at least. So uh, John created a plugin that works on Amos versions 23 or 24 or below or above that. And it just works, which is magical. To figure out where to um, get those plugins, you could go to my YouTube channel and search for plugins for Amos 24. Um, this will show you how to get the plugin, where to stick it if you're in version 24. There are other videos for version 23, um, but I'll just show you real quick. Uh, in version 23, no, this is version 24. If, in version 24, you go to this address, um, C users, your username, app data, which will be a hidden folder, so you got to figure out how to view hidden folders. Local Amos development, Amos 24, and then plugins. If you're using Amos version 23 or lower, you've got to go to this folder, which is uh, C, Program Files x86, IBM, SPSS, Amos 23 plugins. So that's where you stick these files if uh, you have version 23 or lower or 24 or higher. Okay, back to the plugin. So what it does is it's going to generate a um, an, an HTML file, a browser file, essentially, with the relevant data. So go to plugins. After you've stuck those plugins where they belong, go to plugins, click on master validity, and it's going to run. And voila, it produces the table you need. The composite reliability, the AVE, average variance extracted, maximum shared variance, and max reliability, H. Um, so it has all the constructs on this column and all the constructs on this row and the square root of the AVE on the diagonal in bold and all the correlations off diagonal. And it even interprets things for you and makes recommendations. Check this out. So there is one validity concern, which is painted in red, it says it's a convergent validity issue. Uh, the AVE for LS, that's this construct right here, is less than 0.5. So that's a problem. Try removing G5 to improve the AVE. But also notice there's an asterisk here. Um, according to Malhotra and Dash, uh, AVE is often too strict, and reliability can be established through CR alone. And here's the citation for that. So if you couldn't get this AVE up, but your CR was still good, you're covered. But let's try the recommendation it's making. It says, try removing G5 to improve the AVE. So let's go back to the model. Let's remove G5. Let's just look at the, at the estimates here. Notice G5 right here has the lowest loading, 0.38 out of all of these here. So what happens if I delete G5? Deleted, and it's error. And plugins, master validity. Here it is again. Oh, it went up to 0.464. What does it say now? Try removing G4. All right, let's try that. Let's just see why. So if we go to G4 here, it's 0.59, whereas the other's a little bit higher. So let's get rid of G4. And it's error. And run that. And we don't need to run it. We could just go to plugins and master validity. That runs it for you. And hey, 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 look, it's above 0.5. Awesome. No validity concerns here. And there you have it. It also accounts for... Uh, stupid human error. So, for example, if I have a correlation missing, I got rid of that correlation there. If I try to run this, it'll catch that. So, master validity, and it says, whoa, you are missing at least one correlation error between latent factors. In order for the plugin to work, all latent factors must be correlated. So, let's go back and let's correlate that one. It also catches if you have um, a factor with only one indicator, which by the way, isn't a latent factor. If you only have one indicator, that's not latent. So if I go to plugins, master validity, it'll say, whoa, LS is missing an indicator and is therefore not latent, uh, meaning it only has one indicator. So this is only for latent factors. So we'll go ahead and, uh, can I edit, undo that, control Z? Nope, not gonna let me. Let me get rid of this for a sec to show you one other feature. Um, it 
allows you to have factors that end in numbers. Remember back before we couldn't have F1 as a factor? Check this out. I can run it, master validity, and it works with F1, no problem. And you can have residuals named whatever you want. Some people like to name the residuals Bob or Res or something like that, Res F. Whereas before they had to end in numbers, you may recall. Um, so I go to master validity and it runs just fine. No problems. Anyway, so that's it. Um, it works great. I hope that saves lots of people lots of time. Thank you, John, for making that. You're awesome and brilliant.